Are you curious about the health benefits and drawbacks of honey? Do you wonder if it's safe for your children to consume, or if it's worse than sugar? In this detailed YouTube video, we will explore the intricacies of honey and discuss whether it's a beneficial or harmful food. Some people consume a teaspoon of honey every day, while others avoid it altogether. Honey is considered a healthier alternative to sugar, but is it really? We will delve into the components of honey and its effects on the body to provide an informed answer to this question. One of the best studies on honey was conducted by the University of Marque, led by researcher Daniela Chanchosi. The study explains the numerous benefits and components of honey and why it's advantageous to consume it often. Honey has up to 180 healthy components, which is due to the fact that bees extract it directly from flowers. We've previously learned about the importance of the nutritional value of food, including the micronutrients such as flavonoids and phenolic acids, which are extremely beneficial for your health. Luckily, honey contains many of these micronutrients, making it an incredibly healthy food. Honey is not only an antimicrobial, antiviral, and antifungal substance, but it's also an anti-tumor food. With all of these benefits, how can one avoid consuming it? Our ancestors and populations in Africa, who have similar lifestyles to our predecessors, consume honey during certain times of the year. For instance, the Hunza population in Tanzania consumes 15% of their energy from honey in some parts of the year. The Hunza population has low cholesterol, triglycerides, and blood pressure, as well as rare occurrences of metabolic syndrome, cancer, and tumors. However, when we examine the composition of honey, we see that we must be mindful of certain elements. For instance, honey is primarily composed of fructose, glucose, mannitol, and sucrose, which is simple sugar. There are virtually no proteins or fats in honey, and the number of vitamins and minerals present is low enough that one would need to consume a kilogram of honey daily to meet their dietary needs. Thus, it's essential to limit the intake of honey and not make it a staple food in your diet especially if you're trying to lose weight. Despite this, honey contains micronutrients that are potent in combating free radicals and oxidative stress. These micronutrients protect the nervous, cardiovascular, and immune systems. Furthermore, honey has a potent anti-tumor effect, which works in all stages of cancer development. Honey increases the cell's ability to die, apoptosis, and reduces the chances of angiogenesis, where new blood vessels are formed. To conclude, honey is an excellent food to include in your diet, but in moderation. It's not harmful, but it's important to be aware of its composition and limitations. Honey is particularly beneficial for combating free radicals, oxidative stress, and tumors. In addition, honey is excellent for healing wounds. We hope that this video has provided you with an informed perspective on the benefits and drawbacks of honey and will assist you in making informed decisions for you and your family's health. If you liked this video, please show your appreciation with a like and consider subscribing to our channel to not miss the next content. Thank you for your attention.